Good morning, it's another beautiful day. I am super excited to start building out the interior of this cube van. I plan on getting a lot of stuff done today. I scored a whole bunch of hardwood flooring, or not hardwood, laminated press board, like pretty cheap stuff. I wouldn't really want to use it for my floor, but I'm thinking about it just putting on the walls. I kind of like the color, it looks really good. Just cover the whole top half of the wall in that. I'm gonna rough it up a little bit so the contact cement adheres to it a little bit better. And then I'm gonna just uh, straight up stick it on the wall and see how well it sticks. I'm pretty ADD when I work on everything here. I'm obviously I was just working on the walls and a bit of the flooring and back and forth with everything. Basically, as soon as I think of something, I'll start it and then I'll be like, ooh, shiny, and start something else. Uh, now I'm working on the couch frame. Stuck a little bit of foam, whatever spare pieces in there. I'm not gonna floor that. Awesome, so that's generally my whole Couch lay up there, bed's gonna be up there. Sides up beyond the cushion. So I'm gonna get cushions made for there, cushions made for there. Oh, that's nice actually, I like that. I ripped a whole whack of two by fours in half, so I'm basically just framing up with popsicle sticks. Right here, I'm trying to figure out how to frame this wall up. Pretty straight, but it's hard to square everything up just with everything else not being square. So it's kind of just give and take a little bit. Using the old icrometer, everything seems to line up pretty good. Just scored this beautiful oak free desk here. It is really nice, it's all solid. This is what I'm gonna use for my kitchen. The stove's gonna be right over here. I'm measuring it up so I have my workspace and then my sink will be cut in here. Right now I'm just cutting it down to size, so I'm gonna rip off a bit here, and then cut a little bit off the back, so it's a little bit nearer to fit in. Stoke, tables in place here. Over here, I'm starting to frame out, frame out my area for the stove. It's gonna go right there. It's gonna work out pretty well. Damn! It's looking good. So this is the sink I ripped out of that trailer. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down in half. So I wanna mount this underneath of the um, oak table that I have. These screws are just temporary just to hold everything in place. Roughly the sink just transposed it from the inside. I made everything about like, I mean the actual sink's probably out there, so I'm just slowly taking off material and working my way out.
Look at that. Just have to finish it off with some nice thick epoxy. Seal it up, make sure the under, underneath side's also sealed up. I'm gonna reuse these desk drawers as my kitchen drawers. It's gonna be nice and easy. All I have to do is flip them around and put a face plate on them. Basically my idea is I gotta make this drawer stick out just a tiny bit because I'm gonna put trim over everything. I'm gonna cover everything up. I'm not gonna use this as trim, but I got some nice uh, some plywood that I wanted to cover up everything with. This board is gonna be flush with everything, and then I got a face plate that's gonna go over top of that. So put these guys on like that on there. And I'm gonna that. These are all some of the pieces I ripped out of the uh, van when I first got it. They are going to work perfectly for my horizontals to hold the track in place. So got everything pretty well clamped there. I got my shower walls glued together. So there's not much space to work in here right now. I'm gonna go start working outside. I got this um, old school cabinet. It's made out of plywood and probably has like lead paint on it still, um, but it's perfect. It's way better than what most cabinets are made of nowadays. So I wanna try to salvage this and turn it into my kitchen cabinets. As is, this cabinet is a little bit too big, so I am going to have to trim it down a little bit. Which means, unfortunately, I pretty much got to rip this thing right down to its individual pieces and put it back together again. down all the pieces so the uh, bottom shelf will fit on there uh, this tile I got is like the perfect height so I'm using it as a guide to cut that down keeps everything nice and square as well because the tile will square up perfectly to uh, the bottom of the shelf
So this is pretty much all I filmed for this week. Next week I'll be coming out with another video where I'll be mounting this cabinet and installing my backsplash. If you like this video and would like to watch the build from the start, please click this playlist here. Otherwise, just hit subscribe and wait for next week's video. Thank you for watching.